What's up everybody? It's me James again and I am back with another video and I forgot to make a video for like two or three weeks and I am sorry I've been really busy uh, but I want to show you some case knives today uh, but real quick I'm going to talk about some uh, little updates I guess. First of all a big thanks to everybody who ordered um, those case CV Barlows. Um, those things sold like crazy I've never sold a knife that much in my life and um, like I said this is kind of a hobby I buy some knives I show them off they I sell them and then I repeat you know um, but the demand was so high for those case uh, CV Barlow's which I kept one I should have brought it down again but you already seen in the last video um, they were so so high I had to place like three orders I believe it was and I went to go place a, a I got a couple emails and I'm like, I'm waiting for the distributor to find out uh, who, or not who, but when the next order is going to come in. They told me that it was the last one. They're not getting any more. They're all been sold and Case quit making them. And they told me that it's going to be the, the only CV Barlow that they're going to make. And then after 2019, uh, there will be no more Barlows. It's going to go back into the vault, um, the Case vault. So if you got one, awesome. If not, I have like four more coming that I had to get from another distributor and um, that's all they had. Well, they didn't. They had a few more, but yeah, I know the popularity is a little bit dwindling and uh, let's put it this way. I placed an order for a certain amount of money. Uh, not for a certain amount of money. I paid a little bit more for these, but I'm still offering for the same price and they still have the discount, which is slip joint five. Um, but there was a certain amount I got what I got, and they literally sold the next day. So this is it. I can't get any more. So if you missed out, check that out on the website, slipjointguy.com. Uh, the other update is I got approved to be a Victor Knox reseller, and I can get – I don't have my – the order's going to show up tomorrow. But um, the um, the cool thing is is I'm going to uh, sell – try to sell some Victor Knox knives. Um do some reviews on each one hopefully before they sell because this video was going to be a boker video but it's sold so whoops and but yeah so i got some victor knox knives i got uh what do they call them the uh, a lock series a lot of a locks knives coming in and we're going to do a couple videos on that i hope uh so if you're an a locks fan they're already on the website i caught one of each so basically when they sell they sell it's kind of a test run i don't know how popular they'll be uh can't add discounts to it victor knox is really um picky and I actually uh, do some things in order to just get approved um, and uh, I'm not proud of them just kidding but yeah they're picky and I had to fight them a little bit but I am approved I'm gonna follow the rules because I'm hoping to give you guys the best deals I can and feed my knife addiction and feed yours too and maybe make a little money on the side but I apologize for not making a video for the last three weeks. I've been busy with work, uh, family health, and everything. I got these stickers. I ran out of these. And they were really popular. People liked them. So I got more of these in. So if you order a knife on the website, I'll throw one of these in. If you want an extra one, just buy an extra one. They're like two bucks. And believe it or not, these actually cost more than the next thing I'm going to show you. This is a button. Now, I know like a lot of GEC fans um, love these buttons. So... I decided to have a button made because I don't know if you guys collect them or not, but um, basically if you spend over a certain dollar amount, uh, I'll throw a button in there. I don't have a lot of these, um, but it's pretty cool. So if you guys uh, want a button, um, I don't know, write me a message or something and then I'll see if I can send you one, but you got to buy a knife uh, if you collect them. If you, yeah, I had to pay for them, so I'm not giving them away. If you buy over, I don't know, about 60 bucks worth of knives, I'll throw one in there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty cool knife. It's just cool. Knife. It's a cool knife. That's actually a Remington knife. Um, so I'll throw the, uh, any, basically, I don't know, it's just a little perk. I don't know if anybody really is into these buttons or not, but I figured why not. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is there is a giraffe bone pre-order on the website and uh, that's a case Barlow giraffe bone uh, it's a pre-order and it's also 5% off on that 5% off selected case knives not many these I will show you uh, let's see another news real quick 
since it's been three weeks. Uh, all right, bear with me. I'll start opening these up. Okay, here's the here's the. I'm gonna start. Just don't get. Just bear with me. All right. Um, TraditionalPocketKnives.com is going to have their SFO, and it is going to be a coffee house acrylic number twenty nine. And um, I seen pictures on Instagram today, and it is beautiful. Uh, so check that out. TraditionalPocketKnives.com. It's a no, I think it's a GEC 29 pattern uh, coffee house acrylic. It's very nice. I don't have a picture here. Um, let's see any other news. Uh, oh, Instagram. I finally hit over 500 uh, followers. So thank you for that. And YouTube. I'm over 200. Um, I'm actually right at 500. So it might actually, if you go on there, it might be like 498. Depends. It seems like it deletes people. So that's the news. I believe I have. Thank you all. It's a update and now let's check out these knives because that's why you're here the video is going to be of this fence stuff uh what do they call it green what is it here green open the wrong side olive green focus fence row um i bought these because um if you spend over a thousand bucks you get free shipping and holy crap so I've, had, I've been sitting on these for a while and I've been planning on making a video and I got these fancy gloves again. Um, now if you're on Instagram, you've probably seen these before. And uh, But I figured I'll show a video because I don't have the boker and I don't have anything really new to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you these because it's what I have. But what do you think of these? This is the um, olive green fence row and this is the, uh, what do they call it, the Seahorse Whittler. And here is a Trapper. And um, I don't know if I did a video on a Trapper or not. Got the XX on the bolsters, which is really cool. Lining is really good on this one. Um, case has been, I've, 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 I've never went through so many case knives that I, you know, in the last couple months, honestly. And... Um, I've seen some things, man. <laughs> and uh, let me tell you this. Case knives are good, but they're not GECs. And I'll be honest with you. I sell these things, okay? But I don't make a living off of it. And um, I will be honest with you. They're not GEC. And I try my best to find the best for you guys. And that's why I offer free returns on my website. Because I want you guys to be happy. Because I'm picky. And I know GEC made us all picky, so I try my best. But I've seen some things, and they went back. Trust me, I'm not giving them away. Um, this is a Whittler, Seahorse Whittler, which is cool. I've never actually had one of these. This thing has a very stiff spring, um, and uh, it's basically it has it has two springs here, and they kind of go into one. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Let's put it this way: there's two blades here and um, there is a big main blade and each one of the blades ride on their own spring which they meet up here on the main so basically this 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 blade has the strength of two springs which is nice oh, or at least one big spring i dig that um and yeah it's kind of hard to open these with the gloves on but they are very this is a very nice knife and uh, I should probably stop looking through the camera to <laughs> open these things. But it's a very interesting uh, pattern. Oh, there we go. Make it pretty. This is what you do with the pictures. Right there. Stainless steel blades on this. Um, I don't know how limited these are. I picked them up just on a hunch. Like, eh, I'll buy them. I've never seen it. And uh, they're really nice. They, they look a little bit better than they do in the, through the camera. This olive green bone is pretty nice. Um, I don't really pick up too unusual stuff because it sits for a while and these have sit. But I actually really haven't tried to sell them like I, you know, usually do. And here's a trapper. I like the trapper. It, everybody likes a trapper. Um, I usually don't sell many of these because they're kind of unpredictable. They either go or they don't. And once again, these scratches, if you see here in the video, you don't see them in real life because they're polished out. And um, basically this LED makes it noticeable. I've seen some comments saying, these have scratches and stuff. And it's like, well, eh, 
they, they do because the lights kind of um, exaggerating it and it's truthfully let's put it this way you stick this in your pocket for more than like six hours and you're going to have bigger scratches than that from just blue jean pockets alone but here we go with the trapper no half stops on the uh, the full size trappers but if you ever are into shopping for a trapper a case makes the mini trapper and those do have half stops but yeah very big knife honestly very big knife it's a nice one always like trappers I don't carry them because they're too big for my pocket because they always it's a big old spade blade I believe it's called and um, the problem with the with these is they they don't sit in my pocket like this they turn sideways and then they get uncomfortable kind of like big cell phones I'm not I don't I'm not a fan of big cell phones either um, but yeah very cool knife I figured I'd show these off because I've been sitting on them and I haven't showed them off uh, like that boker I had a boker that already sold and it was a um, what was it it was a green stockman and I, I put it online and it sold before I even had a chance to um, do a video and I wanted to I'm trying to sell bokers but the problem with it is I don't really know much about bokers and um, I do know the German quality is better than uh, the Chinese and so I go towards the Chinese or <laughs> I go towards the German made um, knives and uh, the one that I got was really nice I took pictures and put on Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram check it out slip joint guy one word um, and uh, there is a pretty cool it, it, it was really nice uh, and I liked it it sold and I didn't make a video so I got a uh, what is it it's a Barlow but it's made by Boker and it's on my website now and I'm hoping I can make a video of it um, that order is supposed to show up tomorrow and um, I'll probably make a video of it before I <laughs> sell it, hopefully, because it's German made and quality is rumored to be as good as GEC or Case, which Case isn't too bad. Um, definitely, if you want a user, grab a Case. Well, there's a lot of Case collectors out there too, but I like to use them. This guy though, this one is really interesting. What do you guys think of these? Anybody ever use one of these? Do you really whittle with them or do you just collect them? <laughs> Very cool. Seahorse whittler. Very nice looking. They call it fence row jigging. Of course it has the um, brass, uh, brass liners. Very cool. Let me close it up. They sit very well in there too. It's very nice. Very nice. So that's it. I'm going to kind of just throw this out there. Um, I got this stuff. You ever heard of it? I've been using it, and I used to use uh, Weenol or Weinol. And uh, I got this. It's pretty much the same stuff, except it's a little bit cheaper because it's a little bit less. Um, but I've uh, been using it on the, my users, and that actually pauses up pretty good. So that's about it, guys. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, I'm probably going to make some more videos here in the next couple of days when I get my new shipment of Victor Knox knives. So, like I said, if you guys want one of these, um, you know, just grab a knife off of the website and. I'll throw one of them in there. If you spend over 60 bucks, I'll throw in one of these. So that's not focusing. I'm really proud of the button. It's pretty cool. So, all right. Hope I didn't bore you to death. We're at 14 minutes here, and I think that's it. Just to recap, check out traditionalpocketknives.com. They're going to have that SFO. Follow him on Instagram. The guy's really cool. Austin, his name is Austin. He's up in Dayton, so he's a little bit north from me. And um, well, near Dayton, I don't really know exactly where, but um, cool dude. I like his, I like his knives. His customer service website's really clean and everything. Um, let's see what else. What else? Draft bone pre-order on my website, slipjointguy.com. I wrote this down. See, I have notes. Remember the other videos where I didn't have notes? I'm trying to make notes now. I'm still forgetting stuff. All right, that's it. I'm not going to bore you guys no more. Thank you so much for 
buying the knives, it's crazy. It was awesome. It was fun and ugh, loved it. And um, thank you for subscribing and following me and all that cool stuff that you guys do and and talking to me on uh, the the you know the um, instant messengers and everything like that. We're all like friends. It's awesome. So I really appreciate it. Thank you all sincerely. Um, I'll see you next time with some Victor Knox and a Boker and some different stuff. Bye-bye.